What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. I'm, I'm glad to be making this video. I haven't uploaded in about two weeks, two or three weeks, something like that. So where have I been? You know, I've been spending a lot of time in the shop, it seems like, and I had not a lot of time fishing. Nah, but seriously, you know, <clears throat> even, even before that, we got a frog interrupting us. Um, before everything starts, you know, my birthday was the other day. And we're doing a sale on the website, 25% uh, off your entire order. Use code BIRTHDAY. Even the frog tells you, go get some little minnows. <laughs> but doing a sale on the website. But anyways, into the video, where have I been? I, like I said, I've been in the shop a lot, getting caught up with orders. You know, I appreciate everybody's support out there. And I'm hoping these jigs are just catching y'all. Hundreds and hundreds of fish. <laughs> but where have i been i haven't been fishing honestly you know i've been doing youtube uh for three years and full time for over a year and this time of year it's honestly you know the jig sales you know they help pay the bills whatever youtube really doesn't pay that much money and especially when you're only getting like three three to five thousand 6,000 views per video definitely not making much more than you know give or take around 200 a month so <clears throat> at the time you know you got to do a little bit of side hustling because you know we got school starting I got uh, four kids still in school uh, one of them's graduated so you still got a lot of school shopping to do so you know you got to get out there and make that bread so, you know, I'm not saying it's YouTube's fault, but you got to prioritize family sometimes and take a little mental break. Uh, kind of got down a little bit, whether I wanted to shut everything like the website and the business and everything down and go back to work. But I know y'all don't want to hear none of that. It's whatever. But I'm not going to do all that. You know, my wife supports me. Uh, she tells me to believe in my dreams. But when you got channels out there that, you know, make subpar videos and they blow up this year, getting over 20 to 30,000 subscribers in less than six months. When you've been doing this for three years and you're barely, you know, at 7,000, which I'm totally thankful for all of 7,340 something of y'all. <clears throat> Definitely. But we're going to push forward. You know, we're going to get through this. Get through this slump. We've got fall crappy fishing coming up. I got a lot of videos planned around that. And school's about to start back. Get that back out there on the lake. Uh, deer season's about to start. It should start getting cooler and all that. So the fish should start biting pretty good. And I'm hoping I can get out there and keep teaching y'all how to fish. Because that's what this channel is about. Um... I've been getting a lot of live scope hate comments here lately. The frog agrees with me, I guess. A lot of a lot of live scope hate. Yeah, I know frog. <laughs> uh, I wanted to make a video on it to respond, but honestly, I really don't care. It seems like people with live scope don't complain about it, and people without live scope just complain about it. And there's even a channel on YouTube, Randy, whatever. Uh, he's got like 70,000 subscribers and he complains about live scope in one of his videos every week. But, uh, I really don't want to make a video about it. I've tried and I just feel like I'm complaining the whole time. But that's kind of what this video is about is complaining anyway. It's not a normal video. So if you're new to the channel, like go check out some fishing videos. Not, not me just talking to the camera video. <clears throat> I just wanted to put this video out there because I'm going to start uploading again this week. And... You know, we're going to learn more things about crappy fishing. I've got a, a line video coming up. You know, does crappy line matter? Uh, we're going to do a, a brush pile video. How to make some brush piles. What The best way to make brush piles. I got that one planned. And, you know, I'm going to try to get on the lake this coming week. We're going to figure them out. But, uh... Anyway, guys, this video is mainly for the people that's here 
from the beginning or new here, you know, somebody that actually gives two Fs about me. So I want to put this out here. I ain't dead. I'm just taking a little mental break. You know, you push out so many videos and they don't do good. It kind of gets to you. So anyways, I'm going to catch y'all this week on a regular video.